Hello, my friends. Thank God and glory be to God for everything he's doing. I just want to do a short video to tell us about prayer time. This prayer time is 3 a.m. in the morning. And this is the time the enemy is around to fight you. If you have any problem that is so bad, so critical, you don't know what to do. Listen to me. What you are going to do is this. Hold on till 3 a.m. in the morning, 3.30 a.m. And go inside your closet in your room. Go there and cry to God, raising your hands up to him. Naked yourself to him. Tell God everything that is troubling your life. And I'm telling you to do this thing for three good days. You will see wonders and you come to testify. Because I've tried it when there is problems everywhere in my family. I tried it when my children are not getting what is right in their life. I've tried this when one of my auntie's child ran away from home. And nobody knew where this child is. And we take it up in our family. We pray to God. God revealed, pray by 3.30 a.m. in the morning. We did that. Two days after this boy comes back home, there is power in prayers. Whatever anybody is telling you to use, please ignore them. Go to God with your faith and call upon him. He said he will answer you no matter what the problem might be. No matter how everything you want will be, will be, God is there to answer you. Go and pray. Because we are in a war with the Satan. Yes, there is a war. Any child of God, you are fighting a war. So my brothers and sisters, anytime you have hurt, somebody is disturbing you. You are not happy. You have asked God for something, you don't get it. Are you looking for a husband? You have stayed your age. You think your age is passing. Do this thing I'm telling you. Go there and pray. Read Psalm 35. Call upon God at that period of time. Almighty God will answer you. 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. is very, very important time. All the witches, all the evil powers, all the evil temples. When you pray that time, you will scatter them. You will scatter all their plans. Wherever they are, whatever they are doing at that time, you will scatter it in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Just go and pray with faith. And after you give thanks to Almighty God. There is no other God than Jesus Christ. He is the only way that can save your life, whatever you are doing. And anybody that say, go and use this charm or this, know that all those things are temporal. They cannot last in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as a child of the Most High, go in and pray. Go to, into your closet. 3 a.m. Naked yourself to God Almighty. Don't look on anything. Do you lack money? Do you lack food? Go and ask God for it. Almighty God will send your destiny helpers to you. I'm telling you what I've practiced and God heard my cry. There is nothing God cannot do. God can heal you. God can make a way. God can give you money. God can give your own husband. God can give you your own children. There's a sister I know. She comes to the ministry anytime because we have women ministry. This woman has not given birth for 14 good years. She has been suffering. She has been spending all her money. She came, I told her, go and ask God for this. Because you are in a war with Satan. Those people that is holding your children, sometimes she will tell me she had a dream where she has a child. I said, okay, that thing is going to the dream world. But now, go in, you have your child physically in the hand of God. Continue praying every 3.30 a.m. Go inside your closet and call upon God. Go and cry. Raise your hand up to heaven. Say, Father, I've come. Give me my own child. Pray. 
this sister prayed after she fasted for seven good days she prayed and prayed and prayed as i'm talking to you now this sister is pregnant and i know that god has wiped away all her tears are you waiting upon god stop listening to what people are saying go and do this go and don't go anywhere jehovah has no alternative what any prayer god will not answer cannot exist in the name of jesus almighty god answered prayers jehovah does wonders so go to god go and meet god 3 30 a.m go there go inside your closet and call upon god it's enough for satan to use you to do you anything that is not good please don't ignore this jesus christ is god he is alive and he cannot fail anybody that tell you that jesus christ is not truth tell the person to go to anywhere he wants to go just go and go to god and he will do everything for you you are god is ready to answer you father lord is ready to give you what you need in the name of jesus christ Whatever is your need, whatever is your problem, Jehovah is around to help you. I'm telling you, the power of 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is very, very important. Now, we are, I'll be teaching you so many things spiritually that you don't know that can work for you. You are around you, wherever you are. I'm telling you for, because all those things, I've tried them and God is working. God is making a way. God is real. He will do everything for you. So my brothers and sisters, this is a short video today. And I know as you are going to do all this, as I know as you are going to enter into this prayer, what you will do, listen and listen very well. Enter into fasting. You can fast from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. You can fast as the Holy Spirit directs you. You can fast from 6 in the morning to 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. As the Lord Almighty directs you. Because anybody that needs something, you need something. And it's very, very important for you because nobody can help you. Let me tell you, nobody. Go and do this prayer. And as you do it, tell God everything. Enough is enough for Satan. You will not be suffering like this. Jesus is alive. Read Psalm 35. And as you are into that fasting, every night, this prayer goes every night. 3 a.m., 3 a.m., you wake up and you call upon God. Tell him everything. Read Psalm 35. Jehovah will answer you as he has answered me. As he has answered so many people. We have some rich men, rich women in our ministry. This is what they did. And Almighty God heard them. And you, God, will hear you. God will perfect everything for you. He said he will not leave you nor forsake you. Our God is not a liar. And God will not lie. And will not lie forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters... To go to God. Do not leave God in everything you do. What God cannot do, it cannot exist. Yes, what God cannot do, cannot exist. And I pray that Almighty God will hear your cry, will help you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen.